everybody, it's Christine, aka The Haunt Girl, with my husband, Jeremiah. Hello. We just finished Broken Chains Escape in San Bernardino, California. Caught in a Rumple was the name of the room, or the game. Caught in a Rumple. Caught in a Rumple. Boy, we were, were we caught, caught in a Rumple. <laughs> um, we got out, we made the leaderboard with no hints. Yeah. We were like but not top of the leaderboard. No, nah, but we were like third, second or third. Second. She said we were second. I think we were third. She, I don't think she saw the, the other. Yeah, because the first two were very like seconds yeah, apart. Right. Anyway, um, that's beside the point. Uh, I don't know. I never really like to take the leaderboard. I guess like it's kind of fun to be like, yay, we took the leaderboard. But that says something about a room, I think. Well, especially when leaderboards are at <laughs> twenty five minutes left. That's not a good sign. Multiple people at 25 yeah. minutes left. Yeah. It's not always a good thing. Yeah. And that's... that's how it was in this room. Either you got it or you didn't. And it was only open for like two weeks so far. Yeah, it's, br it's brand it's new. It's a brand new brand game. new. And people are getting out in half the people time. Just of flying the through it. So that's always kind of a bad sign. Um, it's it's Rumpelstiltskin. He's locked you in a room. And he is He's a got trickster. A bunch of wacky puzzles to save your life. He is a bunch of wackiness. A bunch of wackiness. Um, it's so wacky that I would tend to say it's fairly illogical. But Rumple, that man, he's an illogical person. Or yeah. being or trickster. monster, he's trickster, a trickster. Whatever he is. Yeah. But if you look at it from the point of view that Rumple Stiltskin is a trickster then he doesn't have to be logical. It can be illogical. So then it makes it make sense. Doesn't mean it makes it fun. <laughs> um, I mean, some of the puzzles were fun. Yeah. Some of them well, were not fun. <laughs> no, were that final... Sad and I was like, that was fun, but maybe... That final puzzle was not fun. It was also not a puzzle. Really? It was a guessing game with a lot of objects. Some things... Yes. If you've played a lot of rooms, you could probably guess what we're talking about. It was... <laughs> like if you've played that room in Bakersfield, that's uh, just nothing but these things. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> overall, um, if you take some friends, it could be a good time. You just have to think outside the box and fairly illogically. Like if you go, this can't be the answer, that's probably the answer. Um, but it wasn't bad. It was fun. It's a fairly inexpensive room. Yeah. And we had a group on anyway, so it was really group inexpensive. Going. Um, we yeah. got put with two groups of people, a group of four and a group of two and us. So the room was completely full. Eight people, which is a lot. It for, was a lot for that, for that room. room. And it's, it's linear, linear. So it really, yeah. They said it wasn't really linear, but that wasn't true. It was. She didn't was know linear. the question. She didn't really understand what I was when asking when I said, asked. is it linear, I suppose? Yeah. But um, it's linear, which means that one puzzle leads to the next puzzle, leads to the next puzzle, leads to the next puzzle. Um, it's it's like so everyone's working on one puzzle. Everyone's working on one puzzle at a time. One at a time, yeah. And um, that's usually, you know, kind of difficult anyway, but especially when you have illogical puzzles. And an actual logic puzzle. And if you don't know what a logic puzzle is, just look up the definition of a logic puzzle. And they're like these word puzzles that you really don't want a group working on. You just want one person doing it. Um, so that that happened. They're the kind of test or the kind of puzzle at the end of an aptitude test that yeah. you're like much better, you know, doing on your own, writing it down, not yeah, you're like doing that SAT question, like I am back and forth. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What yes. do you mean he's got a suit? What do you what, mean? What color is it? I don't remember. <laughs> Which one was first? Um, yeah, mm. um, but yeah. I mean, it's got a story. The story I mean, is very well told. It, it's got it's a like good the character. Worst game we've ever played, Certainly not the worst game we've ever played. It won't. It's not like, oh boy, we got to play the Rumpelstiltskin game. We'll yeah, forget like... it even existed in a week. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that's kind of harsh, but I'm sure that when someone says, have you played this game, I'm going to look at you and go, right. did we play that game? What do you mean it was Rumpelstiltskin? Which one was Rumpelstiltskin? I don't remember that. And you're going to go, it's the one with the things at the end. And I'll be like, oh, it was that room. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm going to say. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching our video. Um, if you want to see written reviews, I write reviews on escape rooms nationwide here in the U.S. at thehauntgirl.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.
Thanks. Something Rumple silk skin oh. chains of bondage or something. <laughs> it wasn't chains of bondage. I'm pretty sure it was chains of bondage. Uh.